right, so uh, welcome to the third Powerverse. Uh, and today what we're going to be talking about is checking for understanding. So what I brought for you today is a tool. It's called the QSSSA. And when I did this training at Deer Park, they nicknamed this strategy the QSQA. And so we're going to talk about a routine that you can use as a teacher that builds in wait time, that gets you to kind of slow down your role a little bit so that you're asking the students a question, you're giving them enough time to think. Uh, there's also some interaction built in to uh, this routine. So the routine that we're working on is a QSSSA. And if you look at the green uh, cardstock, you're going to see what the QSSSA stands for. The Q is for question. The three S's are signal, stem, share, and the A is assess. So what I'd like for you to do, I really like the uh, stem to come right after the question. So when we're talking about stems, we're talking about sentence stems, all right? And so this is the routine that you would want to use uh, for, uh, it's good for all students, but absolutely imperative that you do a routine like this for your English language learners. Because like I said before, it kind of slows you down, it gets you to ask a question, you have the kids thinking before, they're uh, responding, they have time to share, and then you assess the learning. So the, the Q stands for question, STEM, signal, share, and assess. Now we're going to build a foldable together, and then I'm going to do this process with the adult learning that we engaged in last time. Okay? So you'll see how I use this. It takes two minutes to use. It's pretty awesome. So what I'd like for you to do is I would like for you to take out your glue stick, and right here you have the tabs for your foldable. And you also have the QSSA so you can see how to build your foldable. So if you'll fold it in half and open it up, you can build your foldable. I always start with the last tab, and the last tab this time is going to be assess. Right? So you just put a, a strip of glue right here, and you're going to glue that assess at the bottom, just like that. And then the next one, in reverse order, would be share. So, glue strip along the back, and then you're going to layer it. This is called a layered foldable. And it's called a layered foldable because you're layering the tabs so that you can see the assess and the share, and you kind of get the gist there. All right, so I'll give you a minute to, to make your foldable. Talking about building background. 
So here is your question. And I want you to write this down. What is one way that you build background in your classroom? Please write that question. What is one way I build background in my classroom? So in your classroom, you want to post the question. You want your kids thinking about the question. And we've had some conversations about te teaching kids to think, to stop and think, to really, um, you know, what do you look like when you're thinking? Do you look like this? Do you look like this? You know, what is it? Um, so that they get in their thinking stance. Uh, and you can do that if you're, if you're comfortable doing that with your students or, you know, whatever, float your boat on that. But I really think that it, it's a good idea to get kids to stop and think. Uh, and I, of course, like, all right, so, so your question is, what is one way that you build background in your classroom? Now, from that question, I'm going to create a STEM. And I'm going to have the STEM posted in the classroom. But for your power burst learning today, so we can get out of here in 20 minutes, you're going to write it down. So here is your STEM. One strategy I use to build background is... One strategy I use to build background is, and that's your STEM. So it makes more sense to me to question and then here's the STEM. Because you want your kids practicing that language. No more are we going to take one word answers, right? We're going to take that language and we're going to build on that language from the content we're teaching. Yes? And we have a thing at Ray Language Arts that's called the Walsh Way, where it is restating, and it's on the board up there. What? Right? Where you're supposed to be doing that restating your question in a sentence with a capital and a period, and we're really all focusing on that. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. Send me that. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, um, so now we have our STEM. So the signal, the signal is for you, because remember, this is a tool for you as a teacher. So this is a routine, right? So the signal that I like to use with my students is uh, the thinking chin, right? Because I want them thinking about that question and how they're going to answer it using this stem. And I'll know that my students are finished thinking when they put their fist on the table, okay? So th everybody thinking chin? I'll know you're finished thinking about that question when your fist is on the table, okay? So I'm looking around, so that's my signal. It's a ready signal. And there are all kinds of ready signals. We're going to talk about that in just a minute when we go to our foldable. But that's a, that is a quick and easy. The kids don't have to get up. It's not, you know, crazy. Um, so, fist is on the table. And now I would like for you to share. And this is how we're going to share. We're going to do a stand up, hand up. And I want you to move away from your table. You're going to pair up and share with the partner. Okay? I want you to use the STEM that you wrote down. So you'll say, one way out, but one strategy I use in my classroom to build background is. And you notice in the STEM, I'm using some academic language, a strategy, right? Some of the academic language you want to use with your students uh, would be prior to, prior to the Civil War, blah, blah, blah. Because your kids are going to be seeing that on um, academic tasks. And when they leave here, they're not, they're not using that speak. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to share, so we're going to do a stand up, and up. You might want to take your phone so you can read what your thoughts, your stem. Move away from your table, find a partner, pair up. Okay, go ahead and share. <laughs> Okay, when your when your partner pair has finished, hand up, find another partner. Find another partner. So move around the room. These guys. If you put your hand in the air, you can see it's not partnered up. Oh, one strategy I have is to go out of the room. One strategy I have is to go out of the room. When I start a new season, I have to start with this kind of short history channel. Okay, let's thank our partners. Have a seat. You got the gist.
person in this room. Okay? Fingers in the air. And in middle school you have to show them which finger, right? <laughs> okay, on the count of three you're going to point to one person in the room. One, two, three, point. So it looks like... No. <laughs> no. So if you could please stand up. Now you get to choose who's going to share for the group. minutes to do, right? So you get your kids up, walking around, sharing the information and the language. Uh, so that was a cute SSSA. Now, if you'll look at your foldable, so open your foldable, because I have created some ideas for you using the foldable. Now, the foldable is for you to use. So if you look at the tab for question, you'll notice it is empty. And that is because you will write questions from the content you teach, right? And if you'll flip to the stems, you notice that is empty as well, because you will create your stems from the questions that you created. Try to infuse that procedural vocabulary in those stems, because that's the vocabulary that really trips our kids up, all kids, um, because they're not using that academic speak all the time, all right? And so if you'll look at the signal, now like I said earlier, these are ready signals. So if you'll flip to the signal tab, I like to use the thinking chin, right? But there are some other ideas for you. Uh, stand up behind your chair when you're ready. Um, we had some middle school teachers have the greatest ideas. Uh, the Deer Park teachers, they use, when you're ready, I want to see big eyes. And so the kids are like, when they're ready. And so they have to really concentrate on that, you know, to get their eyes big, big eyeballs. Uh, also, the pencil mustache. I don't know you're ready when you have the pencil mustache. So you hold your pencil right there. Yes, did you? This is a good time to bring those catch activities in. I do this a lot. Just oh, yeah. different. Stand up and jump three times or turn around or... Excellent. Excellent. Do it. How do you and use jump three times? When you're finished, stand up and jump three times. And they don't go like nuts. I just be like they... <laughs> well, that's a good way to get them. To, sometimes getting them to stand awake so up a little bit. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever been in a session after lunch and you're just going, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so just changing the physical state is really awesome, so that you'll know they're ready. And then the share tab. So flip to the share tab. The way that we shared was the hands up, sta uh, stand up, hand up, pair up, and then we were able to practice that language. And they could, you can have the kids practice with multiple partners. So they're up and moving around. And then the way that we assessed today, what we did was um, I had one person, you know, one, two, three, point to someone. It's really better when you have them in groups of four and they point to one person. And the idea there is that kids need to not know when you're going to call on them. It needs to be really randomized so that they know that they're accountable for the learning and they can't hitchhike, right? And so I've given you some ideas for the assess piece. Now, the assess part of the QSSSSA is more about formative assessment, right? We want to see how our kids are doing all the time. So we're constantly assessing. So the white sheet that I've given you today 
are many ways to assess, to formatively assess your students. So I'm going to give you about two minutes to read through the different ways to assess your students. And I want you to put stars by the ones that you find intriguing that you want to try. Try to pick some new ones because some of these you've probably already done a hundred times. But I'll give you about two minutes to read through that. Okay, so uh, did you find some things that you liked there? Some things you might want to try? All right, so I want you to find uh, a partner. Actually, if you guys would turn and face your partners behind you, and that will be your partner now, you guys would pair up. And I want you to talk about some of the strategies that, that you found and ways you might use them with the content that you teach. Okay? I I really like about students where the kids get on the side of the room and then they have to argue their um, choice and then they can switch sides if they want to. Oh, I like this handprint too. Right hand the right one thing you want to do. Right. 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 Something that really just knocked your socks off. I like the handprint because it would be a fast exit ticket. Mm -hmm. And then, like a lot of times, the exit ticket, we have them write down one or two things. Right. So I have them force them to really think about everything they did that day and write down five things. Excellent, excellent. Yes. I like the flag, and it's simple, but my kids like post you notes for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But what I know we're doing in language arts, we're working on you know, looking at what's important from each paragraph, and they're being highlighter happy. Like give them one little sticky, like you wrote right, like three important words, most important words from this paragraph, or the most important sentence, not just all of it, and then put it on each one, and then you can see as a teacher the understanding what's right. Excellent, important. excellent. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do in your boxes, there are some sticky notes, and your ticket out is one strategy I will try to formatively assess my students is, and you are free to leave. If you would post your sticky on the door on your way out and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.